Hey, how you doing? Uh, to make your scales sound continuous, um, for example, if you're playing a three note per string scale, the tendency is when you're first learning it, you're concentrating so hard on the mechanics, you know, where do my fingers go and you're picking and all that. Uh, even once you get it a little bit up to speed, you end up with this one two three one two three one two three one two three and what you want is da 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 a continuous sounding scale uh, the simple trick to do that is just count um, if it's three notes per scale count in fours or fives even and you're not counting in particular to keep time necessarily like with a measure uh, it's just so that you accent on a different spot than than the the three notes per string. So, for example, you know you're going one two three one two three one two three. Uh, as soon as you can, so that your muscle memory doesn't develop into into bad habits of the one two three part of it. Um, count in your head or out loud. Um, one two three four. One two three four. One two three four. Like that. That way your accents will naturally fall on a different spot besides, you know, the beginning or end of uh, that string. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, instead of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, works for me. Uh, you know, after a while you won't actually be hearing yourself count in your head. Probably it'll, that part will go away, but to get you started... I think it's a, that's something that helped me out quite a bit, so I hope it helps you. Have a good day.